Good job. Okay. Now we're up here. What is this place? Uh-huh. <laughs> how in the world... <laughs> this is not really shown on the map. I don't know how they'd show this on the map anyway. What the hell? Well, I've already been here. Now I'm just... Okay, well, now I'm back up here. Alright, so this is just the top of the place again. This is crazy. So now I gotta do all this again. Looking to see if anything's highlighted. Oh, there are things there. Huh. Let's see here. So last time I dropped, jumped down, I fell. I slid. Okay, here we go. I think we'll be all right. There we go. Now I can look at this stuff. Cool. This is what I wanted to do. Nice. Get those pieces. Probably don't want to go down there. So instead... Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright. So, yeah. Now we can do that again. Um, can I just go down this way again? Can I just... I cannot. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can't. Oh, no! You weren't supposed to do that, Laura. You were supposed to, like, grab onto the edge. Yeah, whatever works, huh? Did I see something down there? I think I just saw the bottom of her boot. What was that? Oh, arrows. Alright, I'll take them. Why not? Those will top off while I'm here. I just can't believe that there's a camp down here. Inventory. Why would I want to look at my inventory while I'm here? Ammunition and equipment. Craft regular and special ammunition. Craft equipment and view all gear items. Hunter's quiver. Okay, I can't make that because I don't have this shiny hide. <laughs> Sparkly hide. Uh, and as far as ammunition, I can't make any of it. Well, I'm full of silent arrows and I'm full of poison arrows and... I can't make hollow point bullets because I don't have that skill. Okay, so I can't craft any of this stuff yet. Alright. Cool. That's fine. Oh my gosh. Maybe. The water's eroding everything. At this rate, there won't be much left in a few decades. Okay. Good to know. Is this the tomb? It's looking kind of tomby. Ancient cistern. It's a cistern. Option, optional challenge tomb. Okay. Let's see. What's down here? Not sure how I'll get back up, but we'll worry about that a little bit later on. Oh, maybe I can get back up right there. Just want to see if there's anything down here I'm interested in. Maybe get a view. Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like Laura could go for a swim. I don't know if that's something I'm, I want to do, but... Uh, let's go check it out. Is there a platform we can climb up on? Yeah, we can swim all the way through here. Oh my. Oh, okay. So, is this part of the challenge or not? I really don't know. So here's another one of those oil casks. I could pick this up. Maybe set it over there. And, uh, use that to raise the water level, which I'm guessing we want to do. Otherwise, why would all this crap be here? Oh. Oh man, how do I put it down? Is this not where I'm supposed to put it? Oh 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but let's see. Okay. Alright. Here comes some water. Hope that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> it's getting awful deep. Okay. Do I swim through here now? Um, well, I can. Alright, that's pretty cool. Alright, kind of wade through this now. We'll come out up here. Alright. Oh. Hmm. There's another one over there. But I'm not sure... Huh. I'm not sure how I'm going to... Water markings on the wall. The levels change. Okay. Huh. Oh, brother. Um... <laughs> okay, so here's more of these things. More arrows. So they make sure you don't run out of arrows down here because you need those to complete this quest. Here's more of these things. Do they float? Probably not. I wonder if I could put it on top of this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, it's like, um, once it's in the water, it's like, see you later, bye. That's gone. Okay. <laughs> Alright, can't put that in the water. So, um, let's see. This platform looks like it's connected to that floodgate. Okay. Right. Okay. So, of course, as soon as I let go of this... Alright, I think I know what I need to do. The tricky part is going to be to get this on that little pallet there. Yeah, this is what I need to do. Okay. Hopefully these things will come back. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Laura. Land it on there, girl. No! Okay, good. Alright. Okay. Whew. Okay. Now I need to go up here. Jump on this. Okay. Oh, don't fall off. Whoa, that thing moves a lot. Okay. Now I drop down and I get ready to shoot. Oh, damn it. I just wasted an arrow. Oh, well, there's an unlimited supply of him here. No! Okay. <laughs> okay. Should be able to swim through now. <sighs> swim through? Why do I want to swim through? <laughs> Alright, let's swim through. Laura seems like she wants to swim through, so let's do that. There's definitely a current here. Fix your hair. Okay. Ooh, that's neat. Looks like gears of some sort. More arrows down there. Oh boy, so we've got another one of those things there. Got some parts here. Okay. Interact. Look at me interacting with it. Okay, I did that. Alright, now... Now what do I want to do? Something up there. Is it just more arrows? Or is that a document up here? I think it's a document. Yeah, let's grab this. This should be more than enough oil to light the passages below. But be careful transporting it. We have not perfected the refining process and it is still volatile. You will know the man who supervises the construction. We all do. 
Without his knowledge of the Earth, none of us would have survived along the difficult journey. Do not linger. And if he asks for a word of his wife and child, feign ignorance. Mm. He cannot accept that they perished during our exodus and expects them to arrive any day. We need his genius. And I fear if he saw the truth, we might lose him entirely. Hmm. These are instructions to deliver oil to the workers below and not to upset the foreman. Okay. All right. So... We need to find us uh, another. Maybe I can get the oil yeah. cast from the other side. Oh, oh, there's another. There's a relic up here. Let's grab this. Cloth, cloth, and mushrooms. So somehow we need to get the oil cask from over here. Can I throw the oil cask from here? Maybe. Let's see if we could throw it that high. Let's try it. See how good of an arm Lara has. Luckily, these things just keep magically reappearing. I don't know, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. Um, huh. Uh, boy, how do I do this? Um, I have an idea. It's pretty crazy. It's a pretty crazy idea. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to throw this on this again. Okay. I'm gonna raise this again. Can I jump up here? It looks pretty high. I don't think I can. I can. Okay. Hey, might as well grab this while we're here. More wood and mushrooms. And now I'll do this again. Okay. So we do this again, and I'm hoping the water level. Uh. Oh, I see. Well, actually. Am I going to be able to climb while I'm holding that thing? Because, see, I need to climb up there. So swim over. Get on this platform. Pick this up. And now, jump. Hopefully I could jump while I'm holding onto this. Oh, damn it! She dropped it! Okay, maybe I need to fling it up here. While I'm on the platform. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe that's it. Let's try that again. Whee! Okay. I'm worried that thing's gonna fall off. Okay, that's as high as it goes. Swim over. Climb up. Climb up. Grab it. Throw it up there. Oh hell. Did I do it? I did. Yes. Climb up. It, it works. works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now. Now what do I do? Oh, brother. Um Do I have to fling it onto that little ledge right there? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Stay. See if this works. Okay, that works. Now there's a lot of water coming in here. Okay. Got that thing turning for some reason. Ooh, it's a lot of water. Okay, let's swim through here now, I guess. Okay. Alright, let's walk through here. And through here. And through here. Ah, look at this. I do believe we have made it. Cool. Let's pick this stuff up. I'm worried that there were other things down there that I could have gotten that, I, that are now drowned. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I really do worry. 
because, I mean, I didn't explore this area thoroughly. I just kind of, you know, kind of made a beeline to what I was supposed to do somehow. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's stuff over here. Let's go grab it real quick. Let's grab this. Got the trash can here. And I know they're not really trash cans. That's just what I call them. Grab this. My love, this letter is long overdue, but I have been hard at work. When you arrive, there will be a home for you here with all the comforts we have left behind. It is a huge task ahead of us to design and supervise the construction necessary to provide fresh water to our people. But all my labor will be paid in full when I see you and our children's faces again. We will create a new world here, the equal of everything you left behind to follow me. It will not have been in vain, as long as you and I are together. So this was a letter from the foreman to his wife. He expected her to join him at any moment. Well, as we just read in the other note, she did. Man, I am really concerned that I missed some stuff. Those are just those uh, oil things. But yeah, I'm really worried that I missed some stuff down below that and it's now it's flooded and I'll never be able to get it. That's uh that's not going to make me very happy. Map updated, new document and mural locations revealed. Let's collect these coins. Whoa. That's as close as I can get. I um Yeah, I don't know, man. Let's see, how are we doing? 7 of 26 documents. 4 of 18 relics. There very well could be things down here. Could be. And I just will never know about them because now they're underwater. That's, uh... Well, I guess, uh... I guess we'll find out one of these days, huh? If that's the case. Make sure there's nothing else around here. Whoa. A little bit of a hitch there. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. That was pretty neat though, right? of the earth new skill mastered natural instincts nearby resources will automatically appear on the map and glow when nearby cool tomb complete ancient cistern awesome is that the only tomb in this area or is there another one tombs completed oh gosh one of three. <laughs> oh goody Boy, the glow from that thing is distracting. <laughs> this makes it look like... Yeah, I guess it's just telling me this is the way that we're supposed to go. Man, I'm telling you, I bet you I missed some stuff on this side. Not seeing anything uh, glowing, though. Wow, the water comes all the way up to the base camp here now. Pretty neat. That was kind of cool. That was a really clever. I have a lot of fun doing this. Okay. Weapon upgrade available. Uh, let's see. The uh, pistol. Oh, the revolver more accurately. I didn't realize it was a revolver. Uh, let's see. Hollowed hammer. A lighter hammer allows for less jamming, resulting in a higher rate of fire. Or the muzzle break. Um... Eh, let's do this one. You can tell I'm putting a lot of thought into these. <laughs> okay. And we have another skill point to spend. Just handing out the skill points. Any new ones here? Oh yes. Oh, level 2 stuff. Crafting mastery. Craft large capacity ammo and resource pouches at base camps and increase the amount of ammo crafted on the run. Hmm, that's pretty good. 
a body trap specialist? Craft traps on enemy corpses that detonate a deadly poison glass cloud when investigated? Holy crap, that sounds terrible. Hollow point bullets. Craft high damage pistol bullets that expand on impact for increased lethality. Demolitions experts. Advanced techniques give all crafted handheld items an increased detonation radius. It's tempting. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Double shot. Simultaneously, simultaneously fire up to two arrows at separate locked targets while zoomed in with a fully drawn bow. What? Simultaneously fire up to two arrows at separate locked targets. How do I lock a target? Hmm. Nerves of steel, fully charged bow, aiming remains steady for longer. Dead eye, a headshot indicator will appear when successfully aimed over an enemy's head. Finesse, earned bonus experience points for successfully chaining headshots, stealth kills, or death from above kills. Blah, blah, blah. Naturalist, increase the amount of natural crafting resources gathered from each source. Survivalist, increase the amount of man-made crafting resources gathered from each source. Uh, uh, deadly force stealth finishers are much faster and kill enemies with brutal force. And field medic, I can bandage wounds more quickly. Um, which one of these did I like? Um, there's some in here that sounded pretty good, right? Double shot might be useful for like when, you know, a group of wolves come at me. Or when I've got to deal with two dudes at the same time. Nerves of Steel, Deadeye, uh, that sounds complicated. Alright, I'm doing this one. Double shot. While zoomed in with a fully charged bow shot, multiple targets can be locked by holding aim over them for a short period of time. When released, arrows will strike multiple enemies simultaneously. Red lock symbols indicate locked targets and the position of the indicator shows where shots will hit when fired, either body or head. Okay, so you can see here. Oh, that could be useful, I think. Yeah, it's only for arrows. Well, we're going to rest at this base camp here, and I'm going to take my break. When we come back next time, um, I guess we'll use this campsite to uh, fast travel back up to, where was this the closest, this campsite? Is it this one? Train yard. Is that the, gosh, I'm all, Where's what's this one? This was, uh, that's where we came in. Train yard, and I thought, oh, there's one right here. Yeah, uh, I think I'll fast travel to this uh, camp, and then we'll run around and see if we can't, get rid of the rest of these uh, communications things. That's what we'll do next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this play session. I certainly enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, won't you be so kind as to let me know by leaving a like or a comment? And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing? Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you will join me again in the next episode.